Good afternoon and welcome to Markets Today. Thank God it's Friday. This is uh, Markets Today. We are discussing stocks and really the focus today is Ask Me Then. What do you want to know about investing on the Nairobi Securities Exchange? Now, we will start off by giving you a recap of what happened yesterday on the Securities Exchange and then we will be talking to a couple of guests that we have lined up for you. Mr. Sang is the key guest for us today on our Ask Me The Show, but that is a conversation for later. We want to find out what has his investment experience been, what was his first investment, and what does he think of the NSC. Now, circling back onto the Nairobi Securities Exchange. Turnover yesterday was quite vibrant. It was up slightly over 50% on a day-to-day -day basis, closing at 851 million, sh uh, million shillings, which was worth of turnover. Safaricom was the dominant trade of the day, trading 9.3 million shares at 32.8 shillings over the day. This was followed by KCB, which closed at about 52.25, and Equity Group was also up there in as far as volume is concerned. The volumes that were being chased largely on Safaricom, this was largely actually foreign trades that were going through and halfway through the day we actually got into a situation where the demand was 11 supply was million so you can actually begin to understand that demand for this particular stock there's increasing interest in it and we think that it will probably go closer to 33 and stabilize at that level what's the key news that we've had on Safaricom this week the only key news that we've had which could or could not really have an impact on price is the fact that the Communication Authority of Kenya had given stringent recommendations in as far as the Airtel and the Telcom merger is concerned. Now this merger conversation has been ongoing from last year. Safaricom has cried foul saying that if this merger goes ahead that they will not be able to get the requisite spectrum that they need to facilitate their services. That said, Airtel and Telcom have actually gone to the courts and they are seeking a point of recourse not to comply with all the requirements for this merger. So it's another four months before we get a, a take on whether this merger will go ahead or not. It could be a slight positive for Safaricom and it could be pushing the demand that we have seen, but it's not material at this point in time. Enough about numbers, enough about corporate news. Now that we're talking about all of this, Safaricom, what does it matter? Should you even care? Mr. Sang, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Before we get into the main conversation, you've just heard what we've talked about, Safaricom. Do you care about Safaricom? Do you ever think about Safaricom? Do you ever think about owning the stock? Yes. Yes? All along I've been thinking about it because um, <coughs> Safaricom, when they came in, they actually made life very easy. Yes. You can um, transact money. You can send money directly uh, from someone you need to send money. Yes. Without actually physically delivering the money to him or her. Okay. You can call someone in the remotest of places and you still get that clear uh, sound from him or her. Okay. I mean, it's just a better option. It's a better <laughs> option. Yes. Okay, do you know about the price of the share on the stock exchange, or rather on the securities exchange? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, okay. But I, I'd like to know. You'd like to know. Yes. So Safaricom mm. trades at 32.8 shillings. That's the price of one or two mandazes that you consume every day. Sure. And you're, the way you're describing it, it does sound like you have a lot of touch points with Safaricom. Kama siyo Mpesa, unapigia mtu simu, unatumia data. So that's actually one of the things when you're looking to invest in a company, you're trying to understand, does this company, do I interact with it? And do I interact with it a lot? So if you interact with it a lot and there are more people who interact with it as well, it means, number one, it makes revenue sure. and then you want to understand is it profitable but that's a conversation for another sure. day now mr sang investments we were here last week we talked about your chicken farm and we talked about how you can be able to diversify your investments and look at the securities exchange but before we look at anything else what was your first investment i just want to get a sense when was the first time that you actually made an investment and how was it oh that's a hard one but uh, <coughs> i made my first shilling Way back when I was around, uh, I was seven years old. Seven years? Yes. Wow. Okay. You've been chasing <laughs> so, people for a while. And this is how it <laughs> happened. Yes. Uh, my father used to give me money to buy sweets and uh, okay. and bread okay. before he left for work. Yes. So one morning, I think he was experiencing some uh, pocket discipline. <laughs> All right. So how can you party a key too? <laughs> yeah. So I decided this was, oh, I was going to do something about it. So. Uh -huh. I hope he's not watching. I, okay, okay. 
for I, sweets. <laughs> uh -huh. I sold his coat. You sold his coat? Yes. For, you went and took it from his hanger and he sold it? Yeah, for 20 shillings. For tw oh my goodness. Did he ever find out? He never found out who actually oh my gosh. stole or... Okay, I don't know whether to call you a shrewd young no. upcoming business mind or... Okay, and then? No, having a... I was well cognizant. I was aware that I had committed a sin, so I thought I need actually a steady source of uh, steady source cash of income. Okay, so interesting. Could, uh, be buying sweets every other. Uh, what's the status of your teeth? But anyway, <laughs> I'm not your dentist. All right. <laughs> so what happened? I thought um, I think I should buy a chicken. Oh, okay. I should buy chicken so that uh, it could be laying eggs. I could be selling the eggs every other time. Okay. So I knew of a friend who had a uh, some few chickens. So I went to him. I bought a two weeks old chick. Okay. Yeah. All right. Unfortunately, it died on the way back. <laughs> you sold a coat. <laughs> you wanted steady income. You bought a chicken. And the risk factors were just too much. Yes, the chicken died. died on the way. Then what happened after that? Were you crashed? Did you continue investing? Or did you just say, okay, fine, I need to probably rethink this? Actually, that was the end of that nini. That that. Uh, you only so you you study Kaisha. you know, you brought up two very interesting things when you're talking about investments because. The thing, when you're investing or when you're doing anything, what your focus is, is you're trying to make money. You yeah. want a steady source of income. And then you also want this source of income not to come to an end. Or you rather hope that the income can keep flowing. So the same way that your father was giving you money, your hope was this money needs to come every day so that I can be able to get my sweets. So I can consume and live a life that I want to live. Really, that's just the genesis of investments. You're putting money aside so that it can earn you a higher return for the future. And you can be able to continue living in a similar lifestyle, if not better, without coming down. Then you can consume then. But when you talk about steady income, do you know what happens on the Nairobi Securities Exchange? Actually, I have no idea, but uh, I'd like to You'd know. like to know. So yes. there are some companies that pay an, uh, a dividend. So a dividend is they, they make revenue, so Safarica will make its revenue. Then it pays for its expenses, it's pay, it pays staff, it pays for taxes, it pays for machinery. And then the money that is left, they take a part of it and say, we'll put a, 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 some of this for next year, for the future. And then some of this will give the shareholders. So they distribute it to the shareholders. It's called a dividend. Okay. It's called a dividend. Mm -hmm. So if you invest in some of the mature companies, they are known to have been paying dividends, and they keep paying dividends either once or even twice a year. So they'll keep paying you a dividend. So you have a steady income that comes from the stocks that you have. So that's, that's one thing that you get. But the other thing that I find interesting about stocks is this. You see, your chicken died, and that was the end. Yes. Your chicken. So as in, the, the risk associated with your, you put all your money into one, literally one chick, and then the chick died. Now, when you go to the Nairobi Securities Exchange, you actually distribute your 20 shillings, okay, today it would be more, into different companies. And these companies have been operating for a while. They te when you're looking at them, you're trying to understand, will they be here for another five years? Will they be here for another 10 years? So when you're buying into these companies, when you want to exit, you'll have somebody who wants to buy your shares. When you want to buy more, you can buy more. So in a way, the way the securities exchange is organized and the way you get access to a small part of a stock gives you a, a, a means of reducing your risk factors. So you're, you don't just have a chick and when the chick dies, you're no longer earning money. Here on the securities exchange, you can go buy one stock and say, his stock in a car is a double price. Then you buy another stock and you say, okay, I want this one because I want steady income. So I have to be getting maybe a thousand shillings from it every year or two thousand or whatever it is. So that's how you can actually be able to diversify your investments and look at the stock exchange as an alternative. Now, uh, these companies that have put their money on this uh, stock exchange, yes. how do they make money yes. to pay me for maybe, yes, Okay, so mm. let's take, we were talking about Safaricom earlier. What Safaricom does, it, uh, when it sells you airtime, then it sells you your home fiber, then it sells you your 3G, your, your data bundles, then your SMS, you know, and then M-Pesa. So all the services, you are charged, right? So it charges all its customers, and they're slightly over 30 million, I think they're 31 million. So all these people who are on the Safaricom platform, they are paying for a service. They're paying for a service, they're paying for a service. That's what you call revenue. It's the same way if your chick came and uh, you had your chicken and, and it, it, it grew up and it was a chicken and it started laying eggs, you would be selling your eggs every day. So every for, uh, if you sell eggs for a full year, 
the number of eggs you've sold times the price that you've sold them at would be your revenue. That's your turnover. Okay. In the same I case of it. the chicken. Okay. So if we, we stick with the chicken now, you see, you need to feed the chicken every day. The chicken needs water. And then if you uh, start getting more chicken, you need to uh, build a barn so that you can house them. If it becomes a lot, you may need to hire somebody to help you um, uh, with this. So every time you're buying chicken feed, you're putting water and, and uh, all these costs that are, are, uh, are concerned in as far as your chicken farm is concerned, what you would do is you would deduct them from the revenue. So say I got a thousand shillings in revenue from selling eggs. Sindio? Yeah. Lakini easy mayae kuziuza si lazima nilinunua chick. Hiyo chick sumesema labda hii ilikuwa 20 bob. Haya, ni kanunua chick ingine kesho, hiyo ni 20 bob, hiyo ni 40 bob. Ni kanunua cha ma, mahindi, ndo nizipatia. Labda kanunua mahindi na 20 bob ama 30 bob. Ni kanunua, sikuwa na maji, ni kenda sokone, ni kanunua maji, ni kaleta. Hmm. Ni kasikia kuna chicken feed, ni kaleta. So unajua lazima ni angali ile do ni memek, alafu ni toile do ni mespend kununua. Izi vitu ndo, ni tengeneze mayai, sindio? So una subtract. Uki subtract, unabaki na profit. Do you want to, he, do, he, he, be a share cook, is it giving me money or is it not giving me money? Kama ikubakishi pesa kidogo utaacha, because really you're trying to make a profit. Unelewa? Okay, unelewa. So now, so for your example, so <laughs> umegat kwa profit, tuko kwa profit? Ni pata wizu wizu. Okay, so, so uh, Kenya, kama uko registered, serikali ina expect to apatia turnover tax. <laughs> Turn over tax, I'm a, you have to pay your taxes. It's true. So ilo ilabaki, unalipa tax yako. Mm -hmm. Ukisha lipa tax, unakuwa na profit after tax. Profit after tax. Profit after tax. So okay. tu kianza na hii 1,000, tu semi ile mapato umepata, labda umebakina 200. 200 Kenya shilling. So 200 utaka useme, eh, enye mm. mama ameni support. Unajua mm. lini ya ngele, tu tibobi ya fasa. Ama useme, eh, wacha liudishe kabuti ya fadhi. Yeah. Si, <laughs> utampatia 50 bob. Sindio? Alafu chukue 30 bob, upatia maadhi. Alafu useme 150, wacha liudishe mm. kwa bia, bia shara. Bia shara. So mm. yu ni dividend. Okay. Yu, ile pesa imebaki, umepati, ume. We, we ume decide ntapatia watu, lakini unawapatia ju, they have invested in your life for one reason or another. Okay. So that's the same way sato ukiangalia Safaricom, ukiangalia Equity, ukiangalia KCB, ukiangalia Cooperative Bank, watatengeneza pesa zao, kwa services zao, watuwe iyo cost ya kufanya iyo service, mm -hmm. wapatia serikali uh, pesa yake, mm -hmm. kama kuna mtu alikuwa na deni, walipe deni yake, mm -hmm. ili itabaki, waseme, he, unajua, nisipolipa hawa watu, Awate ndelea kununua stock yangu. Juu lazima mtu afil, ni meka doza ngu wapa nirudishie kidogo, pia mm -hmm. bini mm -hmm. So that is what happens. That's the same concept. Is it possible for me to directly trade yes. without actually going through a, or using a middleman? You call them stock brokers? Stock brokers. Yeah. Is it possible? Ah, no. It, it's, <laughs> it's not. not. It's not. For okay. the stock exchange, it's not possible. You, for the securities exchange, they are licensed, uh, licensed members. Mm -hmm. So you have a list of licensed members, and then these members are the ones now who open an account. You open an account with them, and you trade with them. It's the same way I say, um, bank, can I, can I go and get a loan, say, from your colleague Yvonne? Mm -hmm. You can do that. Mm -hmm. But you see, you and Yvonne, there is nothing that is uh, mitigating the fact ukikataa kulipa kutendaji. Sindio? Kwele. But ukienda kwa bank, ju bank iko na structure zake, mm. na iko na regulation zake na kuna venye inaoperate, mm. you feel safe ukieka doza zako kwa bank, na ukienda kuchukua deni kwa bank, lazima utalipa. So ukieka doza zako kwa bank, unajua, ile siku nazitaka and as get. Kwele. So that's, that's just how it operates. So the mm. uh, securities exchange inasema, mm. um, we want to have the participants, mm -hmm. our participants asa ndi watakuwa onongelesha the clients. Okay. So kama ni retail utenda uongena, Mm -hmm. Stock broker akufungulia account, then the way watakupatia access, the, it can either be online or you can actually uh, write an email to them or you can trade online. Okay. But, unajui yo sali ni saki ni jibu, ju, mm -hmm. tukona, uh, we have our very good friends here mm -hmm. from uh, Genghis Capital who can help us uh, uh, answer that question. Mm -hmm. Tume, tume ita mtu ane, Grace amekuja, mm -hmm. anakuanga head uh, wa, wa customer service, mm -hmm. Genghis, ana, anakuja kutufundisha vene tuafungu accounts. Okay. Tu ah, venye yo story itaenda. Ah, kweli. Okay. So, before I go, yes. uh, Unajua si raia si huo tuna tunapitianga gazeti tunaangalia tu picha tu somangi so like you can happen to read the business column uh -huh. and uh, the third sentence uh -huh. niliona something trading option hapo ndo niliachia what is it hiyo ni nini na sasa okay unajua ule na trading ule ule na trading option ule na nini juu na chini NSC something. Uliona yes. NSC? Yeah. Uliona Nairobi Securities Exchange? Yes. Alafu kona numbers yeah. ama ukaona nini? Actually, I just saw <laughs> and I stopped there. 
Even though you are shikani. Okay. Mm. But when you are doing it, you will be able to next time to explain your gazette. Ni okay. Juve ni wanafanya anga kila siku, mm -hmm. yu business daily ina your business daily is to get a price list. Mm -hmm. Price list is kitu simple sana. Mm -hmm. to, to history ya kuku. Ukienda mm -hmm. kwa wale wa seuza farm feeds. Mm -hmm. Siwa nakonga na price list. Yes, Anakombia, ile ya ngombe ni hii bay, ile ya mbuzi ni hii bay, ile ya kuku ni hii bay, mm -hmm. kuku ya broiler, kuku ya lea, kuku okay. ya kienyeji, sindio? Mm -hmm. Alafu unangale yu bay, unasema, eh, minataka hii. Mm -hmm. Alafu unalipa. So that's the same thing. Ukiwana yu NSC kwa business daily, mm -hmm. wanakuambia kuna Safaricom, Equity, KCB, East African breweries, hizo kampuni zote mm -hmm. wanazilisa lafu wana kuambia jana mm -hmm. bei yake ilikuwa hivi. Mm -hmm. uh, lafu hii bei ilikuwa aje the year siku ingine, mm -hmm. uh, that was Wednesday, ina kuambia ilikuwa hivi. Lafu wana kuambia ili change aje hizo siku mbili. Okay. Lafu it has additional columns about valuation which is research when you're looking at stocks but yotu neza tukajibu baadaye. Okay. Hii ni soli ningeulisa the first time but what's I share? Share. Sikia tu share. 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 Yes. Sasa tutachukua um tutachukua company gani safaricom jitu kwa tuna ongeaji wa safaricom yeah. sasa safaricom when you wanafanyanga wakienda have you ever registered a company let's do it that way ushaingia kwa mtandao ka register i tried once but uh, nilishindwa ulifika pa usha, ulifika ile place ya share capital i didn't au kufika place yeah, ya share capital place, yeah. sasa mm. when someone is starting a company mm -hmm. uh mtu mmoja haizi akafanya kazi yote unaona kama vile tunafanya hapa metropole mm -hmm. metropole tuko mimi nafanya hii kazi unafanya hiyo kazi kila mtu akona kazi yake juu ni kampuni mm -hmm. kampuni ina, talk, ina ina it pulls resources so that it can operate si ndio but kupulizo resources lazima ikuwe na do mm -hmm. either mwenye kampuni hata atatoa hizo do ama atenda kutafuta deni mm -hmm. sasa utasema mbithe mimi sina hiyo do ya kufanya hii biashara lakini naona ni biashara poa inaweza katupatia uh, manufaa si ndio so ni kanya nitafanya ntenda ni kuite na ni Tevon na ni Grace na ni 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 wase kadhaa ni sema situeke do mm -hmm. tu fanye hii biashara mm. sasa wasi wote wakiweka do lazima kila mtu akwe na uh, a particular stake kwa hiyo kampuni so nika kusema kampuni nikaa keki uh -huh. wewe ukileta shilingi moja na ukatia slice moja ya hiyo ya hiyo keki ya hiyo shilingi moja haya uh -huh. mtu mwingine aseme mimi tuseme hii kampuni hii biashara tunataka kufanya na thao si ndio haya uh -huh. thao wewe useme mimi niko na so uh -huh. nitakupatia keki na toshana na so na so. so uko na 10% kwa hiyo kampuni of the 1000 yes Okay. Sindio? Yes. Haya msi mwingine mimi nikuje niseme mimi mimi niko na so mbili. Mm -hmm. So si keki yangu itakuwa ya so mbili. Hiyo mm, ni 20%. percent mm. Msi mwingine akuseme <coughs> ah mimi niko na so so tano. Mm -hmm. So tano. Hiyo ni 50%. Percent. 50%. Msi percent. Mm. hiyo uh, tume tumemaliza. Mm. 50 20 30. We are at 80%. Percent. We are at 80%. Percent. Mm. Mwingine akuje na so moja tumwambie 10, mwingine mm -hmm. na so moja tumwambie 10. Sasa tukishafikia hiyo 1000 mm. mtu mwingine akikuja mm. sasa unajua kuna wale wasi wanakuja after the, the fact Kiki shaka hapo na shape ano lakini kuna msa akisema eh basi ni napata tu so sasa hivi siniache naambia sasa leo tutakubebaje ule msa akona na shares mingi no ule akona shares mo baseme mimi eh nitakuzia so uko na uko na uliaka so sasa mimi niko na 10% wacha nikupatie share moja share moja lakini unajua juu hiyo keki ishamalizwa unaweza kam dictate ya price Oh, so Wezuka muzia so, so uli ingia so. What's the amount? Eh, hey, not the amount. Mwambi uko na so, mm. aya wale tayo so, minta kupati ya shares ta? Okay. Tano, utampati ya 5%. Una get? I get. Lakini wewe make do. Ju, mm. wewe so uli buy 10% na 100. Sindio? Yes. Yeah, mekupati ya so, mm. lakini ume mpati ya 5%. Mm. Unauna, ume mpati ya 5%, ya kwa hapa, wewe kwa hapa wali ngia na so mm -hmm. sasa ya kitaka kuingia juu amekukatia na umekubali umemwambia sawa wewe kama nikugawi ile yangu mm -hmm. lakini sikugawi na ile do niliingia nayo you have to pay a higher price you, you need to pay a higher price definitely so that those are shares okay. na msc what it does unaona venye umekuja umemuuzia alafu ya kesho mtu mwingine akuja aseme pia yeye anataka kubai hiyo mm ndio -hmm. msc ukwanga hivyo ni kuna cake flani ya kampuni kona hizi shares mm -hmm. wewe huku ingia venye zilikuja kwa soko mm -hmm. unazitaka leo ziko kwa ibe mm -hmm. so mnenda nga hivyo mkichengana na mm -hmm. bay mnenda hivyo na kuzia na kuzia na kuzia sasa ni dongapi naeza ekelea the list uko NSE minimum mm -hmm. ni a 100 shares 100. for any any stock so unangalele mm -hmm. stock unataka uneka one, uh, minimum ni 100 shares 100 mm -hmm. shares times that price 
na i mean i'm not being biased but you know tumesh not kongana safari kwa kama ni safari kwa ndio unataka si kwa safari kwa 3280 so to say me 33 bob you are 3300 that's the least number of, uh, of shares that you need to buy in Safaricom. You have to buy in, in lots of 100. Is it the same for all the companies trading on that? One? Yes, 100, uh, not 3,000, 100 shares 100 is the shares. minimum you need to buy. Okay. Lakini wacha pia Grace atatusha nura kwa hiyo story. Shukrani sana. Siku kama uko na swali lingine kabla tumalize? No, I think I'm now convinced eh. beyond doubt that uh, I should be okay. investing. Let's let, now let's talk to Grace we see because now she can help us understand what you need to do if you want to open an account. Okay. Okay, fantastic. Thank, Thank you, you so much Mr. Sang for your time. That was Mr. Sang telling us about his uh, his investment stories and how he stole his father's coat. Please don't be selling your father's your, your relatives parents and Mr. Sang you <laughs> You owe Mr. Sang yes, senior. <laughs> you owe you owe Mr. Sang. Even lazima utanunua kabuti anyway. On a light note. And that was us discussing what do you need to know about the NSC and we hope we've been able to answer a couple of questions. However, we do want you to engage with us on our uh, on our social platform. That is Metropole TV on Twitter or Mbithemwe on Twitter. Similar names on Instagram as well as on Facebook. What do you want to know? Remember the hashtag is Ask Mbithe. We'll take a short break and we will be back with Grace from Genghis Capital helping us understand so now what next i want to open an account what do i need to do see you in a few